Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to have a little bit of nostalgia with the retro game box, the SUP 401. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in this little box of tricks, we have got some serious nostalgia right here. Now, I was a child of the, the late 70s, early 80s, so consoles and things like that were not really heard of. There were really, really basic things like Pong and the Atari VCS 2600, the Vectrex, things like that. So we didn't have all the things that you have these days, such as your Nintendos and your Playstations and all that kind of stuff. So when something like this comes on the market, you look at it with very fond memories. Now, the memories don't always live up to reality, but hopefully in this case they will do. So let me tell you what this is. This is a retro game box. Essentially, it's a kind of a little bit of a clone of, or a rip off of the Game Boy. It has a color screen. It's got a D-pad. It's got your X, Y, A, B buttons on there. Start, reset, and a select button, a built-in speaker, and basically it plays 8-bit games. I'm pretty excited. Let's take a look and see what we get in the box. So in the box, we get the actual unit itself. Now this actually is available in five colors. There is a black, a red, a yellow, a blue, a white. Black, blue, yellow. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll put some links in the description below so you can check out the different colors that are available for yourself. Um, I've gone for the blue because I kind of like it. It stands out a little bit. The black ones look a little bit too plain. This for me just looks retro, but with a little tweak of modern built in for the color. So what do we get again? So we get a high quality three inch screen. You get relatively actually nice feeling buttons. They're not the real horrible, cheap, tacky, nasty buttons. They actually have got a little bit of a uh, little bit of springs them. Very reminiscent to, if you're old enough to remember, when Nintendo first released the little handheld games. Um, it's not quite at that level, but it's not that far off. So there's a built in speaker on the front. I say this looks very much like a kind of like a Game Boy. It's that very, very kind of clony look. Now going around the outside edges, at the top we've got a power button, which is one of those really proper old school sort of shift it across buttons, which kind of clicks into place and you've really got to get your fingernails into it. Yeah, we really like that. You've got on the top is a micro USB charging port. Now the battery in this actually, I'll quickly go on to the battery. The battery in this is actually like the ones you used to get in the old uh, Nokia phones. So this is the uh, BL5C, which I think a lot of phones actually still use to this very day. So you could always get some more of these in a the charger and have a stack of these ready, but you shouldn't really need to. The battery itself takes roughly about an hour to charge and should give you about six hours of gameplay. If you can stand six hours playing this, then uh, that's uh, pretty cool. For me, an hour to hour and a half should be the most I can take in one, uh, in one sitting. Nostalgia is one thing, but uh, achy thumbs is another. So sorry, going around. On the top also, we've got a AV out. Now with this, you get a cable, which is included. So the, uh, the yellow and the red. So the yellow one is your audio. Sorry, the yellow one is the visual and the red one is your mono audio. Now don't forget, this is 8-bit. So stereo wasn't a thing back then. Bleeps, and that was about it. Music is probably not even remotely thought of back then in the 8-bit days. Uh, and for those of you that are old enough to remember, you'll know exactly what I mean. So the cable goes through to a uh, jack plug or jack plug style. I think that's a, a one eighth. So literally plug it into the top of there and you can put those two cables into a TV with an appropriate socket. So ideally a SCART converter, that sort of thing. Or if you've got a TV with an AV input, absolutely fine. But I think to be honest with you, the main reason you're gonna wanna have this is to have it held in your hands and have it up close and personal. So let's fire up and I'll show you what it looks like. So as you start to begin with, you come up with a menu and you've got the option for Chinese or English. Now on this device, there's 400 games. Now, when you say 400 games, normally you'd think that's 400 different titles. No, nah, not 400 different titles. This is 8-bit emulation and also using a lot of kind of knockoff ROMs. So there's a lot of clones of various games on here. So even though it says, Mario Brothers or Donkey Kong. It may not be the exact Donkey Kong that you remember, but a very, very close uh, approximation to it. Now, a lot of the titles are actually done over and over. So there's kind of like the NES version, then there's like the 8-bit Commodore version. 
I'm pretty sure there's some Sinclair uh, 48K versions on here as well, various others, but there's a massive load of titles on there. The 400 that are on there, I will put in the description below. I will go through and type each one out for you so you can see which ones are on there. And also you can see which ones are duplicated. So I would say realistically, you're probably looking at about 150 to 200 individual games and also some sort of Chinese knockoffs as well. But still, the whole point of this is that it's kind of it's retro. It's going back and it's bringing back some of those old memories. Now, for me, the personal classics are things like Pac-Man. Arkanoid was a favourite as well. I don't think Tetris would have been on here. But things like Millipede, the classic Space Invaders, Joust, Galaga, Galaxian, all those kind of original, original games, which you'd spend ages at the arcades or at your local chip shop just firing 10 peas into one after the other but you don't need to anymore you can do it in the privacy of your own home enjoy it get angry with it keep on going at it and not have to worry about 10 peas or going back to your mum and asking for more pocket money to play the thing so let's go into some of these games actually and i'll do some gameplay and i'll record it up close hopefully so you can see exactly what it looks like obviously this is a very small screen running through a digital camera which is then going to go through YouTube's processing so if it's not the greatest do forgive me but I'll do what I can. So let's start with some games and uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay so here we go so as you see the first screen so you get Chinese or English so let's go down and then press the select button which is this one down here and then we get our menu and the annoying bleep. Now the speaker you can actually control there's a speaker on the side so you you can turn that right down. I'll turn it up a little bit so you can hear what the sounds are actually like. So let's go through and check out some of these games. So Cage, Jackal, Russian Attack, Adventure Island, Adventure Island 2, Chip and Dale, Chip and Dale 3, Bubble Bobble, Snow Bros, Mitsum, etc. Ninja Gaiden, Double Dragon, Robocop, a classic there. Spider-Man, Ten Yard Fight. Now that Ten Yard Fight is a great game. Now let's see what else we've got. Array, Balloon Flight, Baseball, Binary Land, Bird Week, Bomberman. Bomberman, an absolute classic. Bomb Sweeper. Burger Time. Now Burger Time is, an, again, another classic if, you've, uh, if you're of a certain age. But what I'm really interested in is Donkey Kong. So let's try Donkey Kong 1 see what that's like. Bringing back some memories. Oh yeah, I've still got it. Ooh, nearly. Ah. Okay, so you get the idea, that's Donkey Kong. So to go back to the menu, Click on the reset button and we go back to the main menu, unfortunately. So, um, what else we got? Let's go to the opposite end of the spectrum. So, what have we got? Pac Man. Pac Man's a classic. Let's try Pac Man. Everyone must remember Pac Man. <laughs> ah.
<laughs> okay, so again, you get the idea. So let's go into English. What else have we got? Let's. Oh, I suppose we're going to have to do Super Mario, aren't we, really? So you can navigate through the menu. If you want to jump through like 50 games at a time, you can press the uh, the bottom two buttons there. And if you want to go slower, I think you can do the others. No, it's all a bit random. <laughs> let's go back to the beginning. Oh, Arkanoid. No, I'm not going to do Arkanoid. Let's do, let's do um, Super Mario. Now I am rubbish at this. Ah, uh, see, I am rubbish at this. Okay, so there we go. That has been the SUP four hundred, the retro gaming box. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty chuffed with this. This is a great purchase, and uh, this is going to give you hours and hours of pleasure. There's so many games on there. Even when you think you've gone through the, all of them and you've played them all, you'll probably find there's another one that you can get right into and get even more hours of enjoyment out of. So if you want one of these, check it out in the description below, and I'll put all the links available. Also, there's a discount code, Mike5, so if you do decide to buy one or anything from the site, then you do get a discount of 5% by using that code. So, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. This has been the pretty cool SUP 400, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.